Hello and welcome to the 29th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at drawing using vertex arrays. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Drawing using vertex arrays is similar to drawing shapes and triangle to drawing shapes and triangles as we have done before, but it is lower level and providing us with a functionality to yield greater performance. First let's discuss how a sprite, for example, is drawn. It, it, it is made up of two triangles. Let's just show you this example that we quickly created. So I've got this image of Google, and you should be able to see these white lines, basically the white border and a white line going through. And this is to separate it into two triangles. And this is how it draws it to the GPU. It calls the GPU and says, draw these two triangles that becomes a little inefficient because every time you want to draw a shape or a sprite for example you're calling the GPU what you could do using vertex array you could call the GPU to draw more than two triangles so you can draw them 10, 15, 20 triangles in just one call to the GPU making it a lot more efficient so hopefully you understand a little bit how the GPU draws a sprite or anything really it uses triangles. Verti vertices have a position aka X and Y plus color attributes. These, uh, there are four types of vertex rays. A point aka a single vertex, lines, uh, so two vertices and they are stored using a vertex array. Triangles, they obviously have three vertices and they are also stored using a vertex array. And finally quads, which contain obviously four vertices and they are also stored using a vertex array. The color is interpolated between the vertices to get a general color and you, you can use that to create gradients as well as you will see. So let's just open up our project. Let's look at a vertex point which doesn't need an array as it is a vertex. These can be used to construct vertex arrays. So what we're going to do is SF vertex. I'm going to call it point. And then I'm going to do point dot position. And we assign that the value of vector to f. And I'm just going to put 300 by 300, which is the center of the screen. And then I'm going to put point dot color equals SF color red and as we've shown before you can do SF color and they can just provide RGB values but we're just going to use built-in color values red and we will use this in a moment when we construct the vertex arrays so what we're going to do is now construct a line so SF vertex array anything with two or more vertices you have to use a vertex array Vertex array, I'm going to call it line, and you just have to initialize it with the type of vertex it is, or shape it is, so SF lines, and then the number of vertices, so it's two. Now we're going to do line zero dot position equals SF column column vector two F. 200 by 150 and now I'm going to do line 0 dot color equals ff color red and now what we can do is just copy and paste this and just change the number 0 to 1 as we're accessing the second vertex in the vertex array change the position to something else I'm just going to put 400 by 90 and I'm going to change the color to green and now we need to draw the line so we'll do window.draw line now let's run it as you can see, we've got our line drawn. It started as red, then to green, as you can see, it's interpolated in between. It's got like a yellowy color there, yellowy orangey. And as we mentioned, we can substitute a point for a basically a single vertex in a vertex array. So instead of doing line one, comment this out a second, what we're going to do is line one just equals point. We don't accept the position of color as we've already done it. Now if we run it, 
regular line that sort of goes down like that is completely red because the point that we created up here was red as well. So you can also do that and you can do that for triangles and quads. Drawing a triangle vertex array is also very easy. Uh, you do SF vertex array. I'm going to call it triangle. You specify the type and put SF triangles. Then how many vertices it has? It has three. That's how many tri triangle does have. Then we do triangle zero dot position because SF vector. 2s and for the position I'm going to put it as 20 by 50 and I'm going to do triangles or triangle as it's called 0 dot color equals sf color colon colon white and I'm going to copy and paste this as I did with the line I'm going to copy and paste it twice as the triangle has three vertices, not two on like a line. And now it's going to change the position. I'm going to put this one as 70, 250. I'm going to put the color as red. A triangle or a quad will help demonstrate the interpolation of the colors a lot better than a line. Now I'm going to put blue. As usual, we have to draw the triangle. Let's just change the draw core to draw the triangle instead of the line. I'm going to change this to triangle. Now, if we just run our application again, we have a triangle. We have white here, blue here, red here, and the color had been interpolated. As you can see, sort of created a gradient effect. Now we will look at drawing a quad, which is also very simple to implement. You may have already figured out how to do it. If you haven't, have a look before just before checking out this bit. So to do it, you do SF vertex array quad or whatever you want to call it. And then in here the type is SF quads, the number four, because there's four vertices, and I'm gonna do quad zero. Uh, position equals SF vector 2F 40 by 50 and then we're going to do quad 0 dot color equals SF color yellow and now it's going to copy and paste that but obviously we're going to have four instances of it including the original and first of all, it's going to change the index here to 1, and this one to 2, and the final one to 3. Now let's just change the position, so I'm going to put that as 80, put this as 90 by 200, I'm going to put the final one as 10 by 150. And now we're going to keep that as yellow. Obviously, that's what I assign it to. Put that red. Put this as green. And for this, I'm going to use cyan because I, I do like the color cyan. And now the last thing to do is just update the draw core. So I'm going to change this to quad. Rerun our application. Now we have our quad drawn. It might look a little wonky with us due to the points that I've set. You can change it however you want, you can have a perfect square, you can have a perfect um, rectangle, whatever, but this is how you draw uh, shapes using vertex arrays and you can make it a lot more efficient. In the next part of the series we're going to be looking at more complex drawing using vertex arrays. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the recordings for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.